Good day everyone. Welcome to Learn with MN. In this video, we will discuss the zoom tool of the Inkscape. The tool with the magnifying glass icon here is the zoom tool. You can also select it via the shortcut key Z. Zoom tool is very simple and easy to use. A simple left click on canvas will zoom in around the cursor, like this. The plus icon on it indicates that it will zoom in. Holding the shift key with a left click will zoom out, like this. To zoom in on a specific area, click and drag over that area, and it will zoom in, like this. Let's discuss different zoom options in the control bar. The first two options are used to zoom in and zoom out, as we did earlier. This is for zoom in, and this is for zoom out. The next three options are used to zoom by ratio. Zoom to 1 ratio 1 gives 100% zoom of drawing size. Zoom to 1 ratio 2 gives 50%, and zoom to 2 ratio 1 gives 200% of drawing size. You can also give a custom zoom percentage by typing below here. This option will zoom to fit selected objects in the window. For example, if I select this object, then clicking this will zoom to fit this object in the window, like this. Similarly, the next option is used to fit the whole drawing with all objects in the window, like this. This option zooms to fit the page in the window, like this. In other words, it will show the whole page in the window. The next option zooms to fit the page in the window by width, like this. This option shifts the view to the center of the page without changing the zoom percentage, like this. Inkscape also keeps the history of the zoom levels you used. For example, I zoom into this polygon, then zoom out to whole page, and then zoom into this circle. Now, let's say I want to go back again to the polygon zoom that I used earlier without performing it again. For that, this option is used. This will move to the previous zooms I used, like this, and this option moves to the next zoom in the history list, like this. This saves you plenty of time, and you can easily navigate to different zoom levels without performing them again and again. Let's discuss keyboard shortcuts for different zoom options we discussed earlier. The plus and minus keys are used to zoom in and out. If you have a keyboard with numpad then these shortcuts will help you save plenty of time. Number 1 is used to zoom at 100%, and number 2 is used to zoom at 50%. Number 3 is used to fit the selected objects in the window, and number 4 is used to fit the whole drawing with all objects in the window, like this. Number 5 is used to fit the whole page, and number 6 is used to fit the page by width, like this. The grave accent key moves to the previous zoom in history, and shift grave accent key moves to the next zoom in history. That was all for this video. If you have any queries, feel free to write in the comments section or contact us on our website, its link is in the description. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon, so you don't miss any updates. Thank you for watching.